Alright, more Project Zomboid and stuff. Let's see here, what do I got to do today? Gotta to put... Probably put these things down. Are those my... Yeah, those are my extra bandages. I gotta put those down. Eh, close my door. Cl close. There we go. Put the bandages and everything. Let's see. Yeah, we got the medicine going in this one. So, wait, wait. Bandages. There we go, because we don't need that many bandages on me. So we'll just put those away. Oh yeah, the uh, the window where the zombie jumped out. Stupid zombie. I should turn this lamp off. Uh, did it... Huh, okay. <laughs> Apparently that lamp brightens that corner and nothing else. Interesting. Okay, so, let's head out into the world. I'll probably do some scouting here today. Because I've gotten some food and some junk and stuff. So now I want to do a little scouting. And I'm told this is a lake over here, apparently. I mean, it's probably just, it, it, you know, it's probably not supposed to be gray. It looks gray to me. Totally looks gray. It should be blue. It should be, like, bright blue. Oh, and it's raining. Why am I stupid? Because I want to go look at the lake. If you get wet, you could, you know, get sick. I don't think you'll get sick with zombieism, but you'll get sick. Apparently. I've never got sick with anything but zombieism yet, so. We'll just hang out in here for a little while. Take a look at all, all of our stuff. See, my, my baseball bat is getting damaged. It's down to about half condition. I could repair it, but I need wood glue. You know, which which won't even fully repair it. Or some duct tape, which will repair it less, 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 and less. See, now I kind of wish... A helicopter. Hey, save me! Hey! Helicopter! Huh. Well, that was probably just an ambient noise. Probably couldn't have done anything about it, but still one of those things. Hey, save me. <laughs> there it is again. Uh, help me. Uh, dang it. <laughs> Get out. Come back in here so I can kill you. dead? No? Here comes that helicopter again. What is that guy doing? Just crop dusting? He's probably searching for survivors. Potentially. I mean, not that I think that he's actually looking for survivors. Not that he could find me. I really doubt that. Okay, so yeah, like I, like I, was, like I was thinking about saying, because I've been thinking about it quite a bit, is you should be able to combine some of these, these building things, or these repair, like, like, put some wood glue on it, and then duct tape the crap out of it. I mean, that would reinforce it a little bit, it would keep it nice and sturdy while the glue is drying. You know, that would be one of the main things. Save me! Hey! Save me! I hear him! God, what the heck? I, I'm so confused. Can I do anything about a helicopter? It's flying around so much. I can't see it, though. What is... Save me! <laughs> yeah, it's... It's probably just a noise. There's probably no actual helicopter, but... I hear it again. It's crazy. It's circling. God, 
God, I, I, I so want to do something about that. Like, really bad. Hey, a crowbar. All right. I was told that the lake, that, that 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 gray thing is the lake, and I was also told that a crowbar might open the door quietly. That, uh, that, uh, that, uh, shed is what I'm thinking. Yeah. So let's go see if we can do that. After we loot this, of course, yes. I always, I always end up, ooh, bullets. I always end up looting stuff. No matter what game I'm in, I'm like, yeah, let's do this, and then I get distracted and start picking up. Like, look at this stuff. Look at that stuff. Look at this stuff. Look at all my stuff. I, I'll grab a book. Probably don't need to grab too much. Uh, far farming? Yeah. I'll grab... Yeah, I'll grab that, too. See, that's that's how I get. I'm like, ooh, that, that, that's neat, and that's neat, and ooh, look at that. Ooh, some coffee, and some ramen, ramen noodles, and, and yeah. That's all that's there. Sugar. Probably grab some some sugar. Don't know what to do with that, but I'll look it up on the wiki here at some point. Pepper. Pepper th makes things taste better. I'm not sure if I have a cooking pot. There's that helicopter again. And here I am looting houses when I said I was going to be scouting. But like I said, I just, I have an addiction. I have an addiction to loot. Which probably means in a real zombie apocalypse, I might be able to survive it. You know, as long as I survive the initial outbreak, that's always the most dangerous part. I'm thirsty. But apparently, you know, I mean, whatever, whatever you're doing, you're not ready for a zombie apocalypse. All of a sudden, boom, there's zombies. You just gotta hope that you're not in town. Luckily, I don't live in town, so most of the time, I'm not gonna be in town. Getting hungry, but yeah, it'll be fine. I gotta ration my food. Not really, but you know. Because with that lake right there, all I need is a fishing pole. And I've seen on the wiki you can craft a fishing pole. So that's good. All I need is a stick, which I can get from any tree, I'm sure. I'm not sure what I need to harvest it. But. And then some twine or some fishing rod. Or fishing string. So either one of those should be pretty easy to find. Here's this uh, here's this shop that I busted into before. Let's see if we can sneak in there this time. Hmm. We've got a few zombies around. I'm gonna have to ready that crowbar because this this baseball bat's getting well. It's still got half health, so it should last. Where's that one going? I thought it was chasing me down. That one's just running, I guess. Look at it go. Huh. Have you ever seen a more determined zombie? Jeez. Like, I'm waiting for it to stop. I'm expecting it to maybe stop. No, it's it's just powering on. Okay. <laughs> See you later. Alright, I'll clear out this here. One zombie. That should be all I need to... Oh, there's another one there. Yeah. Stay dead. Come on now. There we go. Got anything good? No? I don't know how many zombies' pockets I'd want to be rifling through, you know? I mean, it's pretty much the same thing as putting your hands in the, in the pockets of a corpse. It's an old, rotted, gray-skinned corpse. You know? It's not... It's not something you want to be getting close to at all. Oh, rotten lettuce, rotten strawberries. Okay, so so now we can see that, you know, however many days this is in, that's that's how long it takes for stuff to rot when it's not refrigerated. Oh, we've got some stuff that's not rotten. All right, well, you know what? Let's let's go ahead and eat some of that, and I'll put the pepper in my my pack. Lettuce and strawberries. There's some stuff. Oops. There we go. But yeah, I should try to use that that food first, because that's probably going to go bad first. Here's some stuff that's actually refrigerated. Let's keep our stuff pinned up. 
pretty much everything in refrigerators I grab. You know, it's all food. But then on shelves, sometimes you get weird stuff. Chocolate, nice. Chips and chocolate. What are those chips? I've never seen a bag like that, that's cool. Okay. More chips, 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 Jesus. Chips and soda. Man, I'm gonna be a healthy survivor, aren't I? God dang. Holy crap. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I've already looted those, but from the other side. I get it. I was just thinking, like, you know, how in real life you gotta go to the opposite side of the thing in order to access the items on that side, so, you know. Seemed like a logical thing. So we're good here. Oh, we got some chocolate and a little more pepper. I'm not sure if pepper will ever run out, like a little pepper shaker like that. But, you know. Alright, we got some more unrotten food. Loot. Oh, oh, I'm full. Oh, ho. Okay, well, I didn't get the scouting done that I wanted to, but I did get to loot this store up. Is that a rotten cabbage? Yeah. Don't want no rotten. Alright. We're good. Let's get out of here. Eh, screw it. Is there anything in that pile of garbage? Nah. Sweet. So we got some food. So I definitely gotta make sure not to worry about food anymore. <laughs> I had enough before. Now I definitely have enough. And I also have to make sure to use some of those veggies as quickly as possible. Because they're going to go bad before everything else, I'm sure. You know, this is the kind of thing I want out of, out of a survival game. This is really the kind of thing that I wanted out of DayZ, but then it ended up with just being so much of a PvP fest. I mean, you know, I can understand there being a few people to, to fight, but it just got to, to everybody. You just kill everybody. So then I play on. A pr I I went and played on a private server with just my brother, and that got a little boring because it was just me and him after a while. We got some good stuff going on, but still, it was just me and him. So then, so then I just been looking for something else ever since. This kind of does it, but it's no multi. You know, and that's that's one of the main features for me, being able to play with people. Not that I ever record with people. I haven't really played much with people recently anyway. So there's nothing to be recorded. Okay, so I'm getting tired. Gonna have to go to sleep soon. It was a good looting day. I went out. I got some stuff. I came back right at night time. Good stuff. Yeah, I'll just keep using this baseball bat until it breaks, I think. Let's see here, we got get some literature. That was that was it, right? Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Should close this window a little bit. Alright. Uh, here we go. We got lots of chips today. And the sugar, we'll put that in there. Put all the food type products in there. I'm gonna look. No, I don't, I don't see a cooking pot. So it's a good thing I grabbed that. You can make all kinds of soups and stuff in a, in a cooking pot. You make stir fries and stuff in a frying pan. And then you make soups in a pot. Uh, uh, yeah, here we go. I knew I knew I had more stuff somewhere. I was like, ah, I need to put stuff down, but what? Got more spoilables here. Man, I got all kinds of fruits and vegetables now. I need to just go crazy on that. Okay. Right out. Let's go in and pass out. I was going to go put the crowbar away there for a second, but... Meh. I'll be fine. 
Actually, I want to keep it on me because I'm going to try to open that door tomorrow. Go ahead and sleep. And we got enough time for another day's worth of running around, I think. Why not? Well, if anybody has a problem with episodes that are longer than like 10, 15 minutes or something, just let me know. But I think I think by the the fact that nobody's really been saying anything, that everybody's fine with it. I mean, I I certainly personally I would prefer having a longer episode to watch because I can just pause it and come back to it whenever I want. But yeah, I can see how it might be inconvenient for some people who might who might forget to come back and watch it, which is something I would do. I don't know. Whatever. Just let me know what you think about things. So I don't know what you're thinking, if you don't tell me. Right? Right? Right. Give me that crowbar. Now I'll bet you there's nothing in here, but if there is something, I'm gonna be happy. Anything. Anything at all. Being a shed like this, it, it could be, um, like, building supplies. Well, there's no right-click option. If I just whop it. <laughs> Screw it. I'm busting in here. <laughs> yeah, because that's what I was hoping for, is a right-click option to be like, pry open, you know, with a, with a crowbar. Screw it. Oh, now I'm getting tired. I don't, I don't seem to have any zombies coming up on me, though. I must have cleared it out good enough. Well, that's good. I am getting tired. I don't want to wait a little. Maybe I'll go in here and get a drink. Oh, there's a zombie. Hey, zombie. Hey, zombie. Your legs broke? You're turning ever so slowly. There we go. Wappa. Stay wappa. Stay. Dang. Urgh. There we go. You get tired and... I'm not, see, it doesn't say what the high exertion actually does, but I'm sure it reduces the power. I know it reduces the the rate of fire, basically, but it might also reduce, like, accuracy. See, I don't know. I want to I wanna open this door here so I can just fly in whenever I want. I can just run up and open the door. And I want this window to be closed just in case. Because if I want to fly in there, I don't want to... Know, zombie to just hop in the window beside. Open. Open. Yeah, still no. Yeah. I, mean, I feel like I feel like this. You should be able to pry it open to the crowbar. I mean, what 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 are you gonna do with the crowbar other than that? All right, we're in. Ooh, we got a cabinet with nothing. Empty. And some wire. We we got a roll of wire. Congratulations, a roll of wire. We also got all of this stuff. A couple of planks, doorknob, and some hinges. So I'll take it. I'll take it. I was looking on the wiki, and you actually need a plank to be able to start a fire without a lighter. You take a plank, and you notch it, and then you take, like, a stick and some kind of tinder, like, like fire. Or, not fire. Fire's not tinder. Um, like like newspaper or like whatever something that'll light up really fast and you can do that whole Indian style you know the rubbing a stick on a, a thing to make it light on fire um but uh where am I putting this crap yeah I'll put, put on this one here Because planks are pretty heavy, too, so I don't really want to walk around all day with planks in my pack. And they take forever to bring in and out of my backpack. Or my... It's a backpack. It's on my back. It's a pack. It's on... It's a backpack. Anything good? Um, well, all right. All right. So, so <laughs> since I don't really need the crowbar too much anymore, I'll put that down. And we'll put the baseball bat. Because I want to finish that off. I want to use, you know, I want to use that up until it's broke. Or I want to be able to fix it. See, I should be able to fix it with 
wire, kind of, like on the same principle of duct tape, just wrap it around until it's tight. But I guess, you know, I guess that really wouldn't work, because when you swing it, it would just kind of, yeah, it wouldn't work. Um, <laughs> you know, my brain just goes on about stuff. I will say a thing before I'm sure that it's right. Just so you know. <laughs> Just so you know. Okay, so I, w I was gonna, s I was gonna scout some stuff. Yeah, I'm a little hungry, but I'll be fine. Let's go scout. I want to scout out that lake a little bit. You know, go up and down the coast. You know, th on this scouting run, I think I'm gonna go northwards. God dang windows. I'm gonna go that way. Whap. Whap. Get dead. Get deader. A comb. Interesting. See, now that now that makes more sense. See, I thought that was the edge of the world, and then, uh, you know, a house off in the middle of nowhere. That wouldn't make any sense, but having a little house... Like a little boathouse or something out on a lake? That kind of makes sense. I still can't get to it. For unknown reasons. That would be the ultimate zombie survival shack. Wouldn't you think? Out on the water? Also, I don't know what this wood is. There's two planks. or two tiles of planks. Don't know what that's about. So yeah, Grey Lake... Either either the texture is messed up, and the color isn't proper, or it's, you know, pollution. <laughs> maybe maybe we're... No, we're not near L.A. Because, because it says we're not near L.A. We're like in Kentucky or something? I don't know. Backwoods, middle of nowhere land. I really kind of doubt I'll find anything of significance up this way, but I'm going to go a ways. And we'll see what there is. It's unfortunate that I can't run longer than I can because, you know, it's going to take forever. But that's, that's what you get for eating too many snacks before a zombie apocalypse. Getting yourself a little pot belly going on. Can't run at all. Ooh, a gunshot. Yeah. Luckily, there's no zombies around to really hinder me at all. But yeah, I'm not, not getting to anything up here. Well, if this is water, and I'm thirsty... Drink! Drink, you fool! Drink! You know you wanna. Meh. Diet dehydration in this freaking lake right there. Unless I'm on the coast, and that's the ocean. But you'd think the ocean would be even more blue than that. But of course, like if, like I said, if it's a if it's a texture bug, then it, you know, then that's that. I'm going to look this way. I can see through the trees here a little bit, and I just want to just want to take a peek. Hmm, we got some kind of clearing. I don't, I don't even know. It almost looks like a dirt runway. I'm going to go down it and see see what's at the other end. If I can find a farmhouse to live in like I had in one game I was playing, then I am moving. Zombie just standing there. Well, what is this field? Hmm. Hmm. The dirt path going this way. Uh, yeah, I want I want to see what's I want to see what is everywhere. That's 
That's just kind of how it is, man. I just want to see everything. I want to explore it all. But I don't want to get lost in the process. Especially since I'll come back around and think I, you know, think I haven't been here when I have. What is this? A road? Interesting. I'm getting actually legitimately hungry now. Hmm. I wonder if that goes to anywhere, or if it's just a... a thing. Hmm. I don't know. It looks like it's gonna keep going, and there's not a whole lot of trees and stuff. This... this looks... very bland out here. Yeah, I don't know. If, I don't know if I like how this looks. This this actually legitimately looks like the end of the world. I mean, that's that's actually exactly how it looks in DayZ when you get to the end of the world. You know, you get to the edge and there's there's forest and there's trees and there's contours and there's this and that and then you get here and there's no grass, no trees, no nothing for absolutely forever, infinity. So yeah, I'm not I'm not going that way. And yeah, if I make too many Daisy mentions, then, uh, well, I'm sorry. Because <laughs> it's a game that I did kind of enjoy for a while. But. It's one of them type of things where, where you know, don't you, don't you hate that? <laughs> when you get into a game, and it's a fun game, and you're really liking it, and all this type of thing, but the community just ends up ruining it for you. And I, I've had that happen a couple times. World of Tanks did it for me. See, the, I, I, I tend to have that problem with any kind of free game. Any game that's free, it seems to attract the wrong crowd. Just a whole lot of people who just, I mean, at, at best, don't really care too much about about the game itself. And, you know, they'll screw around and not try to win. And then at worst, they'll, they're team killers and all that type of thing. And it's like, dang. You know, I, w I want to play a game the way I want to play a game, and if I can't play a game that way, I, I just, I just don't play it, pretty much. You know, I would really, really like to play World of Tanks more. I mean, I've got, I've got a couple of good videos that I recorded back in the day, but just, just can't do it. Meanwhile, back in real life, real life, aka fake life, I found a rope. Isn't that interesting? I don't know what I can do with that. It would be nice if I could like split it down into a bunch of little twines and make a whole bunch of little strings, because you can you can use twine to make a fishing pole. So, that would be nice to be able to do. I think I think I had a hammer. If I had a hammer, I'd hammer in the morning. I think. I think that's how it goes. Um, what is this? Some kind of crop circle? Just what? What is this? Is this a? Is this a, like a, a field? Is this a crop field? Is this a like an unplanted field? Is that why it's all dirt? I don't know. I don't know. Be dead. Gotta make sure, uh, sure to check them zombies. You never know when they might have a combo lock. That's a different game. That would be DayZ again. Actually, that would be the DayZ Epoch mod. Because I don't think combo locks... Mod, blah, bleh, bleh. Words again. I don't think combo locks were in the original game. I think it was... See, that's the thing. Th that, that's when you know you've got a, a game going. A, a pretty good game. Is when... When you know you've you you made a mod for a game, but then people ooh a shotgun. But then people make a mod for your mod. You know that's how you know you got it going good. But I found a shotgun and and some nails and empty sandbag. I guess I'm gonna take it. And another one plus a lighter. Like I said, I don't know what to do with paint besides you know painting, <laughs> obviously. 
Hey, wood glue. Sweet. I can try to repair my baseball bat. Good stuff. Okay, now, go here and repair. It says, potentially repairs 50%. So does that mean if I'm at 50%, it'll re potentially repair it to full? Or it will potentially repair it to where it's at? You know, like, does it have to go... Let's see, okay, let's find out. Chance of success, 30, 30... Oh, I need two. I need two, and I don't even have two. I only have one. Needs wood glue, five, five of two. Wait. Oh, wait, no, I have... What? Okay. Alright. Let's... Oh, oh, it needs carpentry, two. Oh, okay. Well, let's give it a shot, because it'll probably put up my carpentry scale, right? A little? Let's look. Carpentry is not, not moved at all. Yeah, XP is zero. So it didn't, it didn't help. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see, we have another skill point available, but we can't apply it to anything because we don't have enough experience in anything to apply the skill point. I don't know, it's, it's a weird system, but I guess, you know, it works. Okay. We're getting tired, hungry, and thirsty. It's time to find a place to lay down. I was hoping I would come up this far and I would find some more buildings, some houses. Some place to lay down. That's not looking very promising over there. Well, I guess we'll start heading back. There's a main road. Hmm. Yeah, here's a fence. So yeah, that's that's definitely a, uh, a, a field, an unplanted field. At least I think. That's... That's my best guess. I don't know. And here's another thing that's kind of similar, but... Like the grass is better built up. I don't know. Did that Did that work? Did I repair it? I don't think I did. No. But did it, uh... Did it use... Yeah, use some of my glue. Let me see, let me see if I can try it again. Yeah, I can... Try it again. Let's, let's try it again. Hey, it actually worked that time. Sweet. Now this time I'm real. Now I'm really low on glue, but I used it for something. Now I, I want to look at my skills again real quick, just to see. Nope, still zero. I was thinking maybe if I did it, you know, if I did two repairs, it would go up. I don't know. We're getting tired. We're getting to the end of the time. For this episode, I need to find a place to lay down. There's a shed. See, so you need you need some kind of thing. I, I was thinking you need you need a chair or you need a bed or you need something to sleep in. I really doubt there's anything in there. Plus, it's swarming with zombies. Dang it, zombie shambling over here. Yeah, this is looking more civilized down here. That looks like it might be a house. Place to sleep. Place to sleep. Oh boy, I shouldn't have ran. I shouldn't have ran. Running increased their ability to see me, and they saw me. Okay, ten bucks says this don't open. Yep. Come on. Come on. Yes. Get that shut. There we go. Alright, I'm going upstairs. So go upstairs and go into this room. This is bedroom? Yes. Because I'm psychic. I, I can psychically read the rooms. <laughs> Clairvoyance, you know. Yeah. Anyway. Oh yeah, I found a place to lay my head. Hopefully I can find my way back. It shouldn't be it shouldn't be that hard. I'm not that far from the lake. I just gotta go straight south, pretty much. I haven't really found anything to loot, but I'll loot this building when I come back. And uh yeah, I think that's about all we're gonna end up doing here. I'm going to wait until we wake up just in case there's a zombie chewing my face off, okay? No zombie. <laughs> so we will see you guys next time.